Hey guys, welcome back to another What's Cooking video. Today, I'll be making an apple crisp. Every couple weeks, I buy a pretty large bag of apples and most of the time, they all don't get eaten. So instead of wasting my money and throwing them in the trash, I've just been coming up with different ways that I can use these apples. I've put them in so many different things. I put them in butternut squash soup. I've made apple pies, apple strudel, sky's the limit. So if you've been tossing all your old apples because you have no clue what to do with them, definitely hold on to this recipe. All right, so to get started, the first thing I did was I peeled all my apples and then I cut them into fours to remove the core from the center. I wanted to make sure that there were no hard pieces or seeds still left inside of my apples. After doing that, I cut them all into half moon shapes and I tried to make sure that they all were cut as evenly as possible. Once I was done cutting the apples, I placed them in a mixing bowl and added in two tablespoon white sugar, one teaspoon cinnamon powder, one teaspoon nutmeg, one tablespoon vanilla extract, and a half squeezed lemon. Then I mixed everything together so the apples will be well coated in the sugar and all the spices. I greased my pie dish with some butter, tossed in the apple filling, and made sure that the bottom of the pie dish was completely covered with the apples. Now it's time to make the topping. One cup old-fashioned oats, three quarters of a cup flour, one cup brown sugar, a pinch of salt, one teaspoon nutmeg, one teaspoon cinnamon powder, then I mixed until combined. Then I added in a half cup of cold salted butter that I cut into cubes. Then I use my fork to combine everything. If I had a dough cutter, this would have went so much quicker and smoother, but I don't. So I just took my time and used my fork to get the butter combined into the mixture as best as possible. At the end, the mixture should look like a crumble. Now it's time to put it all together. I grabbed my pie dish with my apple filling and tossed all of the crumble on top, making sure that all of the apple pieces were completely covered with the crumble. Bake it in a 350 oven for 45 to 50 minutes, and there you have it. Delicious apple crisp. This is good all by itself, or you can add some whipped cream or some ice cream, and this will be the best apple crisp you've ever had. Thanks for watching.